think of a moment when someone that you least expected to see suddenly stands before you. A moment when something you've lost is found again and you can scarcely believe your eyes. Think of a moment when your fear was suddenly proved unfounded and you were surprised by joy. This morning is such a moment. We resign ourselves to the worst and suddenly life turns around. So come this Easter morning to be shaken from your conviction that nothing can change your situation. Come if you look at the world and feel overwhelmed by its chaos or disillusioned by its promises. On this morning, we remember how Mary went to anoint a corpse and was greeted by a savior. Come to worship, prepared to see your life and the world through new eyes. For Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Will you stand and let's sing together of our risen Lord. The strife is over, the battle done, the victory of life is won, the song of triumph has begun. Alleluia! The powers of death have done their worst, but Christ their legions hath dispersed. Let shouts of joy outburst. Alleluia! Alleluia! The three sad days have quickly sped. He rises glorious from the dead. All glory to our risen head. Hallelujah! 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 Lord, by the stripes which wounded thee, from death's dread sting thy servants free, that we may live and sing to thee. Alleluia! 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 
singing once again that Christ the Lord is risen today. Ah. Uh -huh. 
welcome again on this uh, glorious day we have. The sun is shining and the weather just seems to be absolutely perfect this morning. What a wonderful day we have to enjoy. Um, we're going to take a little bit of time for announcements and then uh, some prayer. I did not have any announcements given to me this morning. I don't know if anybody has something they want to share. Get your hand up, wave it around. No? Okay. Um, I would like to point out a couple of things that uh, are coming together here. Uh, Rosedale Corral, I'm told I'm saying that right. It doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, the singers from Rosedale are coming um, uh, April 20th. Um, they will be here at the church and uh, staying the night. There may be an opportunity to provide some meals for them, but they'll be putting on a concert that night. Um, and so uh, please feel free to, to come along and enjoy that. Uh, the other thing is Melanie Haskins is still looking for a bunch of pictures from individuals, uh, pictures of yourself being involved uh, with family, friends, community, um, so she can use them in a... Uh, uh, a deal later here for the church. So if you've got a picture of yourself or of others uh, from the church, please be willing to share those with Melanie. Um, other than that, I uh, don't think there are any other pressing announcements. And so I um, would like to take some time to uh, go into prayer. I'd uh, like to think of uh, especially the uh, family of Kenzie Rogers and uh, the loss of her suddenly this week, and so we want to remember them. Um, my understanding is there will be a service over in Interlochen on Tuesday, and so school, um, instead of resuming on Tuesday, will resume on Wednesday, so uh, those can go over. She was a senior uh, at the school, and so my understanding is a lot of the seniors are heading over for that service as well as faculty, so we want to remember that family. Um, why don't you uh, bow with me in prayer? Wonderful Lord, we are so grateful for the opportunity to gather and to worship together on such a wonderful and beautiful day. Grateful for the opportunity to be considered your children, to be redeemed by your son. Grateful for the, oper for the, the sacrifice you made and uh, what that means for our lives eternally. Lord, as we think about those in our community and within our congregational body, we would like to lift up these, these families. Um, and also, Lord, if there is a way that we individually can reach out and touch them, I just ask that you lay that on our hearts, that we may be your hands and feet, um, your caring touch, your words of love um, in some of these places. We do think of the family of Kenzie Rogers, Lord, and the grief that they uh, are suffering right now. And just, uh, just ask that your presence can be felt there and that there can be a sense of peace and uh, a willingness to rest in your arms even though we don't know all of the answers. We think of the McPeck family, Lord, as they struggle with um, many health issues right now. Um, it seems the whole family has something going on. And so we lift them up, Lord. And again, if there are ways that, uh, that we as a body can reach out, just, just burden us with that, that we can come alongside them, Lord. We think of Terry Esch and uh, his daughter, Amber, as they grieve the loss of their wife. And uh, again, may they feel your presence there, Lord. And 
We are grateful that uh, Doug and Coletta are, have plans to come back to the States and that you have a, a plan and a purpose for them and a new ministry purpose here and uh, that things are falling into place and that a vehicle has been provided, provided Lord. Um, that we just ask that you can give them a sense of peace as they get ready to travel over and that uh, through security and packing and uh, COVID tests to board airplanes, that all of that can just uh, fall into place and they can rest in your arms and understand that you are paving the way in front of them. We think of some of the health issues that are going on for Roseanne's nephew, for Kenny Shea and Jamie Marble, Joan Troyer, for Kent and his hip, for Carl Hoff, for Lisa Wise and her shoulder, and for that, that these folks, Lord, um, that you will give their doctors wisdom, you will give family members patience, and, and that uh, we can all lean on you through this and, and trust that you are there and working think of Scott Yellen as he continues to look for work and something that will provide for their family. Um, and we lift that up to you too, Lord. We know that in your timing, you will, you will provide. Again, we are grateful for your presence here this morning, Lord, for the opportunity we have been blessed with to bring praises to you. As we continue this morning, may our hearts be open to your will, to your word, so we may be instruments of your love. In these things we pray. Amen. Good morning. That was pretty sad. Good morning. All right. That was a little better. I got the children's story this morning, and it's called God's Wonderful Surprise. I was sitting there looking at the front cover, and it says, <clears throat> excuse me, it says every story whispers God's name, but I think today's story especially shouts hallelujah. God's wonderful surprise, the resurrection from Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, and John 20. Jesus' friends were sad. They would never see their best friend again. How could this happen? Wasn't Jesus the rescuer, the king God had promised? It wasn't supposed to end like this. Yes, but whoever said anything about the end... Just before sunrise on the third day, God sent an earthquake and an angel from heaven. When the guards saw the angel, they fell down with fright. The angel rolled the huge stone away, sat on top of it, and waited. At the first glimmer of dawn, Mary Magdalene and other women headed to the tomb to wash Jesus' body. The early morning sun slanted through the ancient olive trees. Drops of dew glittering on the leaves and the grasses, little tears everywhere. The friends walked quietly along the hilly path, thought through the olive groves until they reached the tomb and immediately noticed something odd. It was wide open. They peered through the opening in the dark tomb, but wait, Jesus' body was gone. And something else, a shining man was there with clothes made from lightning. Don't be scared, the angel said, but they couldn't help it. They screamed anyway. The angel asked them, what are you doing here? This is a tomb, and tombs are for dead people. The women couldn't speak. Jesus isn't dead anymore, he said. He's alive again. And their hearts leapt, 
And then the angel laughed with such gladness that he felt for the moment as if they had woken from a nightmare. And the other women rushed home, but Mary stayed behind. How could it be true? Jesus was definitely dead. How could he be alive? Just then, Mary heard someone else in the garden. Perhaps it's the gardener, she thought. He'll know where Jesus' body is. I don't know where Jesus is, Mary said urgently. I can't find him. But it was all right. Jesus knew where she was, and he had found her. Mary, only one person said her name like that. She could hear her heart thumping. She turned around. She could just make out a figure. She shaded her eyes to see and thought that she was dreaming. But she wasn't dreaming. She was seeing. Jesus! Mary fell to the ground. Sudden tears filled her eyes and great sobs shook her whole body. And all she wanted in that moment was to cling to Jesus and never let him go. You'll be able to hold on to me later, Mary. Jesus said gently, and always be close to me. But now, go and tell the others that I'm alive. Mary ran and ran all the way to the city. She never ran so fast or so far in all of her life. She felt she could run forever and ever. She didn't even feel like her feet touched the ground. The sun screen seemed to be dancing and gleaming and bounding across the sky, racing with her and shining brighter than she could ever remember in the clear, fresh air. And it seemed to her that morning, as she ran, almost as if the whole world had been made anew, almost as if the whole world was singing for joy, the trees, tiny sounds in the grass, the birds, her heart. Was God really making everything sad come untrue? Was he making even death come untrue? She couldn't wait to tell Jesus' friends. They won't believe it, she laughed. She was right, of course. Will you join us in continuing the celebration in singing and proclaiming the news that Mary discovered, that our Savior is alive? Lift your glad voices. Lift your glad voices and triumph on high, for Jesus hath risen and we shall not die. Vain were the terrors that gathered around him, and short the dominion of death and the grave. He burst from the In 25 and 26, Jesus was talking to Martha, and he told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, 
even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never, ever die. Do you believe this, Martha? And do you believe this? I believe in the sun. I believe in the risen one. I believe I so grateful for the promise and the hope of your life, your resurrection, and the, the joy that brings us, the hope that it gives, and the encouragement it gives us as we continue our lives here on earth. We pray as Jubal comes and brings a sermon to us this morning that he will speak the words that you have given him, that he will speak the words that we need to hear from you. We are grateful for your love, for your salvation for us for your many gifts. We thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. It's a little loud, I think. Good morning. So I, uh, I want to thank everyone for coming here this morning, um, joining us on